534 your time an upcoming conference at Mercy Health in Janesville is helping doctors and nurses along with police and EMTs work together to give patients a better chance at survival in case of a catastrophe. So this conference is going to feature nationally recognized speakers as well as some local professionals who are going to share their expertise with these folks. News 3's Jenna Middaw is filling in for Eden Checkel this morning and we want to say good morning to her. She is live at Mercy Health Hospital this morning in Janesville with more. Good morning Jenna. Good morning, Adam and Danica. I'm here at Mercy Hospital, where they'll be hosting a tactical and trauma conference in the coming weeks. The conference, there's two parts to it. One part is specialized specifically for doctors and nurses. The other is for your EMTs, first responders, and law enforcement. I'm joined here with Dr. Jay McNeil, who is the EMS medical director and will be speaking at this conference. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So can you kind of give us a rundown of what will actually be going on at this conference? Sure, what this conference is designed to do is to enter the care that we provide in the pre-hospital environment from the 9 dispatchers to the law enforcement to the EMS and the fire the paramedics and then the hospital component. What we've had is uh, a lot of problems with our interface on these mass casualty situations um, not just the care but the integration and putting the pieces together so this conference is about a smooth operation that will save lives. Okay so what's kind of the goal or the main focus for this upcoming weeks? Well, there's two main focuses. Uh, there's the hospital side and then there's the pre-hospital side. So what we're looking at doing is not only giving the skill set to save lives, but also the communications piece, some of the tactics, some of the techniques and lessons learned from other mass casualties. Okay, and why is it so important to integrate these two, um, the doctors, the nurses, as well as your law enforcement, your first responders? Well, we're all a team and it's really important to make sure the hospital knows what's going on in the field, um, what's coming in, how many patients, um, what interventions have been done and also to uh, divide those patients between the area hospitals so one hospital doesn't get overloaded. Okay, and who is this designed for? Who's able to go area-wise? So we have about uh, 20 counties in the state line area we're anticipating we'll be sending people. Um, it's for uh, nurses, dispatchers, firefighters, police officers, EMTs, paramedics. Uh, all of those types of people that might be involved in this situation. Uh, we've also extended invitations to public health, which is not typically a role that's utilized. Uh, Red Cross as well for victim uh, reunification. So we're, we're trying to look at, um, you know, zero to 120 minutes mm -hmm. of this incident and try and put all the pieces together so it flows smoothly. And uh, not only do we save lives, but uh, we also are able to uh, reunite people after the incident because that's always a huge issue as well. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you. this two day conference is coming up October 28th and 29th. If you are a doctor, nurse, police officer, or firefighter in the area and you'd like to register, you can find more information at mercyems.org or by calling 608 756 6100 to register. Now, Adam and Danica, coming up around 6 o'clock, we're going to be back with Dr. Jay McNeil to hear more about why this is so important for people in the community, even if you're not a first responder, doctor, or nurse. All right, Jenna reporting live this morning. Jenna Meadow live down in Janesville. Thanks so much. Upcoming conference at Mercy Health in Janesville is helping doctors and nurses along with police and EMTs. They, all of them need to work together yeah. if there's a catastrophe, some sort of uh, emergency where they need to reunite folks, they need to treat folks quickly. And those first 48 hours, as we were hearing Jenna Middaw talk about in our last half hour, so crucial. There are going to be two parts of this conference, one focused on the medical side of things for doctors and nurses, and another geared toward first responders. Let's go back out to Janesville this morning, where News 3 this morning, uh, Jenna Middaw is there filling in for Eden this morning. She's at Mercy Health with more. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Adam and Danica. I am here at Mercy Hospital where they will be holding a trauma and tactical conference in the upcoming weeks. I'm joined by Dr. Jay McNeil, who is the EMS medical director and will be speaking at the conference. We're here right now in a sim lab and we were talking earlier that there's some hands-on experience training opportunities for the people participating. What can you tell me what goes on in this room? So this is one of our eight high fidelity simulators we have in the system. And uh, what this guy does is he lets us practice without harming any real people. Um, he talks, he cries, he bleeds, he sweats, he gives us heart rhythm, blood pressure, and then we can do the necessary medical interventions on him. And what's nice about this is we could reset him and start the scenario over after watching the video recording so the students learn from that. And he's just one of the 
uh, eight simulators we'll be using during this training to get people some hands-on time, be able to control the scenarios based on what our needs are for the tactical conference. Okay, and you mentioned that um, the situation as it's happening, as people are doing it, it's recorded so that they can then go back and learn from what they did? It is recorded, yeah. They go back, and that's the key piece of the high-fidelity simulation is actually reviewing what you did in near real time and then having a physician or a paramedic educator um, review it with you and learn from it and then go back and do it again the right way okay. or a better way. Okay, and so why is it helpful, um, trainings like this, for the community, for people in the community? Well, it's huge for the community because when people call 911, they have the expectation that people are going to show up on time and perform perfectly. And practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So we focus on perfect practice here. So those people that need us, when we get there, we show up, we do our jobs perfectly. Okay, that's very cool, very neat. And um, I guess, too, how, um, how beneficial is this for the people who are doing it, who are practicing? It's huge. Um, the, the people that do these sims, they leave here and they, they really think it's a realistic experience. And that's from the, the new EMT all the way up to the seasoned trauma surgeon. When they do a simulation here, they leave sweating and they're upset if they don't do well. And uh, we've clearly seen an improvement in performance on all of the different procedures, skills, and even things such as uh, nursing orientation, communicating to family of a hospice patient, those types of things that we simulate for new people coming out. So the first time they do them is not with a real patient or a real patient family. Okay, so it's very important for these guys. Yep. Thank you so much. You're and Thank you. this conference is coming up October 28th and 29th right here at Mercy Hospital in Janesville. Um, if you are a doctor, nurse, police officer, or firefighter in the area and you'd still like to register, you can find more information at mercyems.org or by calling 608-756-6100 to register. And this is one of the first trainings like this that the hospital is hosting, and there's been some pretty good response, so they're thinking they might do something similar in the future. Very important stuff yeah, to learn nice and stuff. get together, collaborate on. Jenna Middall reporting live for us this morning in Janesville. Thanks so much for waking up, Jenna.